Hey, what's going on guys? Today I will be starting a new series on how to use Cinema 4D for beginners. So, and what I will teach you today is all the, uh, the tool, well, most of the tools, the selection tools, all the different layouts you can use and how to move around and make an intro really. So here we've got the selection tool, the live one which doesn't do a lot unless you've got shapes and stuff this one if you've got a shape there you move it Re uh, resize one the rotation and just keep it like that you've got the X, Y and Z axes here and the box tool you've got the render tool which basically just renders out what your project is so far you got this button here which you click when you want to render out your project fully you got this one where you can change all your render settings make it HD or whatnot add effects like the popular one global illumination and ambient occlusion down here we've got the materials of what you can put in and if you don't want to like make your own at the moment just go on to where it says load material preset and there's like loads you can use already there and all you do is you basically just click on it there and you have it over here we got the shape tools so we have here we have a square and you use the axis to move it along across backwards Inside here we have the resize bit on the square. You can change it up, down, and anything really. So that's pretty cool. Over here we have the spline tools and like stars, spline, all that cool stuff which you just drop into extrude nerves. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Over here we have the hyper nerves, extrude nerves, lath nerves, loft nerves, sweep nerves, and bizarre nerves. You only use them if you want to edit, like uh, add stuff to your shapes or whatnot. Over here we have array, boole, I think that's right, spline mask, instance, meter ball, symmetry, construction plane, atom array, and connect. And here we just have loads of cool effects that you can do to your works. And here we have lights and floors and all that good stuff. Emitters, attractors and this one. It's all just so cool. And then over here, if you can see, this is like the movement tools. So if you add like something into here, you can just move around your project see if what you like is going on so yeah that sort of basic stuff oh and like you've got the timeline here and if you go across to here you've got the keyframe button the automatic keyframe and all that and you just press that button to play your project through <clears throat> so what I will teach you first of all to is how to make the basic text and to animate it a bit <clears throat> so what you want to do is go over to MoGraph then hit click Mo text now you've got your text so what we want to do is you want to change it to a way that you think would look cool so I'll just pan over here a minute so I can see it all and where you can see the depth button change the depth to around 50 so there you go it's a bit more 3d then where it says text here just change the name to what you like so I will just put MGX for example and there we go we got some 3d text going on <clears throat> if you want to change your font go over here and click font it may take a couple of seconds to load if you have a lot of fonts in your database 
so I will just pick our sister. You can pick any you want though. Oh and yeah, if you use like a normal mouse, you got a desktop at home. Just use the uh, middle thing in the middle of your mouse to like m zoom in and out. It's so much easier than just clicking on this and going. It just saves so much time. Next thing we want to do is we want to go over to where it says caps, and we want to add on a starter cap. We want to add a fillet cap, and that just gives it a bit of a embossed edge, which makes it look cool. Then where it says end, you also want to make that a fillet cap. Make the radius on the start let's just say a six, and on the end we want to make it a Four. Now, if we render this out here, there we go. Basic 3D text. Now, what you can do is go over to the material panel, panel, and then click on this and add your color. So, I want to make it. I know, a red that's the base thing and if you want to give it reflection just click on to reflection change down the brightness and you can add a texture like for now change down the mix strength to make it cooler take off the specular otherwise it's just too much light on the actual shape on the material so what you need to do next is just click the X click the material and drag it onto your text and there we go but if you want to make the text look cooler make another new material let's say a grey one this time dark grey do the same as what you've done on the red Change the brightness down again, take off specular, drag it on, and then you get this option down here where it says selection, hit capital C and then one. Now if when you render out it becomes black and red, which is cool. So there we go, the text is all nicely done and finished the next thing we want to do is we want to add a plane so we click on the square here hit plane drag click and drag it underneath the text and go down to this option down here change the width to a, make it all nines and change the width height to all nines too now it hasn't done much yet but it will in a second sorry guys I kinda of did it a bit wrong let's just do that for now there we go and then Let's move the text above the plane a bit. That's the basic of the plane. And now we want to add some nice lights to it. So if we click on this button here, click light, you get this here. If you move it around across, you can change your lighting effect. On the first one, what we want to do is say move it about here, go over to where it says lens, and then click on the glow and hit high A. And now, if you render now, you get this, but you can change the positioning of the light, let's just say about there. There you go, you got some pretty cool light there. The next thing you want to do is add 
another light bring it about here go over to shadow change it to shadow map soft density to about 80 percent now let's have a look oh maybe move it across a bit more it's a bit too far up and move it up so didn't do it right there you go basic light basic reflection now if you say you wanted to make an intro out of this what you would do is go back over to the light section and then hit camera and now what you can see is this green box go across it now that is what the camera can see as in, in the image and you move it that's what you can see now etc so what we want to do is go over to this panel here where it says camera tick off the black box so that you are the camera you can move it any way you want really and now you can do your camera movement so what we want to do is click keyframe here then auto keyframe move along the timeline to about 30 frames zoom in then oh sorry click on 30 zoom in keyframe then about 60 zoom in again pattern go out here keyframe it about 80 pan across with the camera keyframe and then about 90 zoom out a bit and pan across then if you want to increase your frames I'm, uh, you can just change it here I'm going to change mine to 150 and then scroll across with this bar here and then on 110 frames zoom in through the text keyframe now if we go to the beginning and click play we get this really cool basic animation of what you could have as an intro so yeah that's it all for today guys I really do hope you've enjoyed this first tutorial um, please leave a comment below on what I should do for the next big tutorial for Cinema 4D thanks guys